Welcome back to another Fortnite Tips and Tricks video. If you're new to the channel, today we're going to be talking about how to prepare for tournaments in Fortnite Chapter 3. Let's hop straight into it. So the first tip is actually to study the format of the tournament. Now this might seem super simple, but I'm actually going to tell you something that you've never heard of as soon as I actually explain this. So studying the format is actually just knowing how many points you need to get per game to actually hit your goal of total points. So for example, if you wanted to get 100 points in a cash cup, you would need to hit 10 points per game. So that way 10 games times 10 points equals 100 total points. Now, that's what you used to have to do. But here in Fortnite Chapter 3, things are a bit different. And what I mean by that is that they only accept your best seven games. So they only take the points from your best seven games. Those other three games that you did terrible in are just put to one side and they don't count the points from it. So therefore you would have to recalculate a better strategy than 10 points per game because they're not going to accept three of your worst games. So you should think, think of this as like you're allowed to scuff three games and get no points in three games. But the other seven games you play, you have to do amazing in them. So I don't really know how that works. I'm not too sure if that's 100%. That's just what I've seen from leaks. Again, Fortnite don't have patch notes, so it's basically impossible for us to figure those things out. But someone let me know down in the comments. I'll pin it if it's correct. And um, if you want to go down and check the comments, you'll know if that, what I just said is correct. But I believe it to be correct. And I wouldn't have put it in a video if I didn't think otherwise. While practice is important in Fortnite, there's one thing that's more important than just practicing in creative. And that's practicing in creative with the people you plan on playing the tournament with. So if it's a duo tournament, make sure you're practicing with your duo for the week building up to the tournament. Or maybe even two weeks building up to the tournament if you've never really played with that person before. Or if you have weak chemistry. Or you just kind of need to get that bond back together because maybe you haven't played in a long time. And that will actually benefit you a lot in the tournament. And you should actually play to improve chemistry rather than just mechanics. Because chemistry is actually combining two people's mechanics to intertwine with one another. Meaning you might be able to edit while this guy hits the shots or this guy might be able to peace control while you're already, you know, know the you know, next three steps ahead. That's called chemistry. And when you master chemistry, so many great things can happen for a team. For example, I am a terrible solo player. I only have 32 wins in solos, but collectively I have over, I think, 800 wins in Fortnite, which isn't, you know, terribly a lot. Most of them are coming from, I think, Arena, if I'm pretty sure with that, but could be a bit off. That's not important. What's important is that I'm clearly a better team player and I play better when I actually get good chemistry with a teammate. And that's something that you have more than likely noticed about yourself as well. That or you're the complete opposite and you're insane in solos because you just have that mind to plan everything out and you don't need to rely on anybody else. And you ma that makes you feel like a better player. That's perfectly fine. But what I'm saying, if you're playing a duos or trios tournament, you need to be playing arena with them and you need to be playing creative with them leading up to the tournament. Let's get into this next tip. Now, before I give you this tip, I just want to ask that if you're enjoying this video so far, please consider subscribing. And if you want to actually really support me, consider using creator code uprising in the item shop. That actually tremendously helps me, especially because I'm a smaller channel. It actually just makes life so much better. On top of that, your tip. I'm going to give you this tip. And this is a very simple tip, but again, overlooked by a lot of players. Spend more time in creative. Now, think about that. If you're already playing creative a lot, I want you to double down on how much you play creative. If you play creative for six hours a week, play for 12 hours a week and cut down on the amount of time you play arena unless you need to get champs. Champs is important because that's what's gonna allow you to play different tournaments. But if you're already in champs, you should be focusing on scrims, creative and building chemistry. They're the three fundamentals of doing good in team tournaments. If you don't wanna focus on team tournaments and you wanna focus on solos, you just have to push chemistry to one side because that's not important. All you need to focus on is mechanics, mindset. Mindset's super important for solos and I'm gonna make a whole separate video talking about mindset and being confident. But that's actually the last tip in this video, by the way, is confidence and it's so important. So make sure you stay tuned to that, especially if you're enjoying the video so far, you might as well watch through and get all these amazing tips. And the next tip, okay, this is another tip that's, you know, kind of overlooked, but it's super simple. But trust me, when I mean it's hard to do, it's very hard to do. So it's simple, but hard to do. That's actually getting great sleep, eating healthy, on top of that, maintaining a good mindset. So there are three things that are all conjoined in one another. If you get great sleep, your mind is going to be in a better place. If you actually work out and you eat healthy, your mind is going to be in a better place. On top of that, you're going to end up getting ripped. You're going to get, end up getting swole. That's my goal for the year, to be honest. By the end of uh, June, I plan on being lean at my leanest ever. And that's just another thing that you need to have as a goal. You need to have something you're working towards. I found myself when I play creative and I just play creative because I know it's going to make me better. I don't get that much better. But when I play creative with the agenda of like, okay, 
This week, I'm gonna double my edit speed. I don't even know if I did double my edit speed because that's something that's hard to measure. But what I can tell you is when you have that goal that you're working towards, your body just adapts and makes you achieve that goal or it gets you closer to that goal because it knows what direction you wanna go rather than just aimlessly doing it. Picture it with a weapon, okay? You could have a weapon like a gun, let's just say the MK7, just this is this is nothing to do with Fortnite, but if you had an MK7 and started spraying that all over the place, it's a deadly weapon, but more than likely you won't kill anybody because there's no aim, you're not using the aim, whereas if you aim and snap between your goals, you're going to actually hit those goals more often because you're aiming at something, you have something to hit. Now, think of what I just said, that's a whole gun analogy, but think about life like that in a weird way don't go around shooting people but you know what i mean like think of an objective and you need to hit that objective and you need to shoot for that objective and when you hit it you're chilling set another objective and keep going for targets week after week week after week with that said i'm going to actually tie that into great sleep healthy body and a good mindset all of that leads to i guess setting targets setting goals and actually start getting momentum and feel like you're getting places with that said i'm going to close up on that tip and going into the last tip which kind of again interchanges with these and that's confidence. You have no idea what it's like to have great confidence in Fortnite. Neither do I, to be honest. I haven't got to that point yet, but there was a point back in chapter one where I was a confident player. I'm like, oh, I'll kill this guy. Oh, I'll take that fight. Yeah, the six kids having a fight over there, I'll win it, 1v, 1v6. There was a point where everybody that played Fortnite had moments like that, where they were just unstoppable. I don't know what point it was for you. Comment down below. Let me know what season and what chapter. But for me, it was chapter one, season three, when John Wick came out. I was off the moon. That was my favorite skin, by the way, if you didn't know that already. But that is where I started building confidence. And ever since I fell off and stopped playing Fortnite for a long time, went over the card and came back to Fortnite, I have actually just strived for building confidence. And that's a good way to actually set up a goal, which is what I was talking about earlier. Set up a goal and that goal be confidence. So be confident that you can win a build fight, but what do you have to do to achieve confidence? You have to actually put in that grind and put in that hours and actually, I guess, develop all this muscle memory, whether it be for aiming, editing, building, all of this, I guess, big ball of, of just work that you have to work on, all of this, this sphere, okay? You need to master it and then you just need to be confident and then that is it. That is how you get good at Fortnite. It's very simple but it's very hard. It's called simplistic complexity. It's something very simple to do when you think about it because you don't actually have to do a lot, but actually doing it and getting to that point is very hard. And that's why there's only a few pros that have reached that level. Like you can say Mongrel has, you can say Benji has definitely bugger because he won the World Cup. They've gotten to a point where nobody was better than them, but they can only maintain that for a while. And then you have to start practicing even harder because people catch up with you in Fortnite. You can be the best one day and you can wake up the next morning and you're not the best anymore. Or you're not as good as you were when you went to sleep. And that's just the story of Fortnite. But with that said, I'm going to end this video right now. Please click one of the videos on screen. It's somewhere here. Um, it's going to help you become a better player and I highly recommend clicking it.